Is Apple Pay too exclusive? This is Mac Voices. This edition of Mac Voices is supported by NordVPN. Get secure and private access to the internet with a special deal at nordvpn.com slash macvoices. This week's Mac Voices is supported by Collide. Collide is an endpoint solution that uses the most powerful untapped resource in IT, end users. Learn more at collide.com slash macvoices. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, our discussion of the fact that the Apple Wallet app can be deleted from the iPhone now in iOS 16 evolves into a conversation about Apple Pay, Google Pay, and both the hardware and the transaction systems behind both of those payment methods. We also touch on Spotify's move into audiobooks. So let's go back and let the panel do the talking. The thing that terrifies me about and I, I do not disagree with with you know what you're saying um, you know that it could be a, a bit of a misdirection or an example of why Apple's trying to be a good corporate citizen. But the thing that disturbs me uh, is that we're talking about you know knowledge to the lowest common denominator here. That well, this is the way I think it works, so therefore it must work that way. And instead of you know somebody doing the research and saying no, this is how it really works, and you know here's if if Google has a, I'm making a presumption here, but Google, you know, gets a little more information out of the purchase I make with Google Pay, whereas Apple has no clue whether I bought a hamburger or a machete, you know. And again, you're making an assumption. I have way you're, more, you're yeah, arguing a completely different thing. I mean, uh, you, you know, you take that route, you could say you should not be allowed, customers should not be allowed to buy Android phones, full stop. They should no, be no. pulled from the market. They're bad no. for customers. No, no, no. Yes, no, you, that's what you're saying. What you know, the, what Google is no. going to say is, why shouldn't Joe I, iPhone user be allowed to have the choice of whether they want to use Apple Pay or Google Pay? You know, make that the user's choice instead of you know Apple forcing the choice. That's it, what they're going to say. Ah, uh, yeah, but as a look, as nobody's forcing me to buy an iPhone. In fact, if anything, there are incentives out there. Namely, the 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 less expensive Android phones that will incent me to go that direction. So, if I really want to use Google Pay for whatever reason, I can do it, and I can do it cheaper than purchasing an iPhone. So, you know, it. I, we don't I, want to I, use I, Google but, Pay but, because but, Apple Pay is more you know prevalent. I mean, that's what it comes down to. No, Google I, Pay was. Well, well, Warren, you just finished telling me that you and Jim just finished telling me that the hardware is the same. There's no difference. So the question becomes. Who you know are 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 excuse me are retailers more supporting Apple Pay than Google Pay, it's or funny. if they're supporting them equally? Just like I can swipe my card, my Discover card, I can swipe my Mastercard, I can swipe my Visa. They make that choice. Uh, and, I, and I, when I worked for when I worked for a couple of places, they said they don't, they don't take Apple Pay because yeah, this was a couple of years ago, but they don't take it because it, it, there's too much money involved that they get. That could have changed. This was a few oh. years ago. CVS uh, and Walmart gave in for that. So, right. So, right. But that's what, you know. But again, if I am guaranteeing you that there's a price for a company to accept Google Pay and there's a price for a company to accept Apple Pay, and I'm sure there's some always a price, you, you know, and I'm sure, you know, if it was a big difference in price, some people might just take the Google Pay, but they don't because. It's not prevalent, and that's why they're taking the Apple Pay and paying more money because they, that's where people have their cards. There's plenty of places I go and I look at those terminals. You got Samsung Pay, you got Google Pay, you yeah, got Apple they're Pay. Coming, they're, yeah, they're coming. Yeah, and they take them all. A year, a year ago, not not at all. I mean, a year ago, you barely saw any of that, but you started seeing Apple oh, Pay. But now oh, you see a lot, lot more, more than a year ago. Was it maybe? A I, couple I, years I've, ago. Been, I've been I've been using you know I I I rarely pull my wallet out. Right. And it's been like that for like three years at least. Oh, for Apple, right? But Apple Pay was on. I saw Apple Pay accepted way before I started seeing seeing Google Pay or and Samsung Pay or Android. Yeah, but that's maybe like six years ago. Uh -huh. right. Well, and, and, anyway, but, and, yeah. yeah, and also, and I think I think as far as the terminal end, they're they're all using aggregators where they basically it doesn't matter to the retailer. They right. you know they pay a monthly fee and they get all of them. Right. 
But there's still I, a lot. I, so why are places now not even? I mean, there's plenty of places that don't take Apple Pay. I, I have probably well, about thirty percent. I don't see, that visit, and they probably do don't take Google that. Pay or, or Samsung Pay either. I and mean, there's plenty no, of places. I'm not that saying they do. Drive throughs Do you take mm-hmm. Apple Pay? No, sorry, we don't. Okay, okay, right. I'll give them the credit card. Right. So the, my question is, what's stopping them? What's what's the hold back, and what's the reason why they're not doing it? Expense cost. Well, for one, I mean, it, yeah, they, they have to be. They had to get new terminals. And terminals too. That's the other thing. Right. Right. So is, that could be another thing. If they're t- getting a new terminal, is it going to, you know, accept Apple Pay and then, you know, not accept Google Pay? Do they have to upgrade Got again it. for another one? Well, no, because it? it's NFC as a standard and it's a standard. the same right. the same terminal works for all of them. Okay. Right. And so, I don't think they can buy a terminal now that doesn't have that capability. Right. But Apple, you know, Apple, then this never materialized yet but didn't they say they were going to have like the tap to pay uh merchant thing going and i don't see much going about that yet they were remember we were yeah. talking they're replacing the square yeah, reader with, they're with including square the square reader into their, their phone oh. right but what happened yeah but that's that's a different thing that's yeah i don't know what happened but right that, that's but, not but that's i'm saying like to make you into a merchant right but i'm saying right. so like apple apple phone only accepts payment of whatever apple in the apple phone will will take we're like we're talking about google pay on the phone right so you can't google i can't google pay through apple anyways so we, uh, terminal it's all it's hardware well it's we hardware. i mean we don't know that warren because you're right there hasn't been a lot done with that or publicized about it i don't i guess it's still there i don't know if that's one of the features that isn't coming yet i'm not quite sure i don't yeah. i thought it was the year before but I uh, well, time time gets away from. I thought that was. I thought that would work with like tap to pay credit cards. You know, one of the big things that drove this was the chips in the credit cards, and you know that was mandated a few years ago. And so a lot of these places had to upgrade their terminals because right. they could no longer use the swipe. They had to use chip reader and and, and the chip reader. And so most of them upgraded their terminals then and got NFC at the same time. So that's that's when you saw a huge uptake in both Apple Pay and Google Pay and Samsung. You know, I, I, doesn't Samsung has their own? There's a Samsung Pay. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So you know, I, I mean, it could be you know you're saying like Apple go to Google and say, can we put Apple Pay on phones? But they probably would have to go to Samsung and to uh, you know the various phone manufacturers. You know, more more so than Google. Yeah. Um, Cletus says um, uh, to Jim, stores here in Florida Panhandle are slowly adopting Apple Pay terminal. Places like Home Depot just don't. Um, and yeah, I, Home Depot you know, is yeah, Home Depot the one right. place that yeah, they're, they're, they're they're a, big a deal hold, They're a big holdout. Yeah, yeah they're, 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 and, they're and, and, and in fact, home. I think Home Depot is the one place I had to use my get out of credit card in the last year. That's the only place I've used it. Um, and I'm asking Cletus in the chat room um, if he if he well, I'll just ask him here and you can tell us, Cletus, uh, have you noticed that there are Google Pay? I mean, this these are not we're all interested in Apple Pay, but are these across the board um, that they'll ex- think accept so. anything? I would think so, too. Yeah, yeah but I've seen the, term, the new channels okay. yeah. every now and then you'll see one that has only one, but not the other. But that's really rare. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. And that has to do, I think, with the business deals that that merchant has made. Right. And and see, OK, so there you go. You know, it's it's OK for a merchant to say, I'm only going to take card A. Well, where's my right to pay with what I want to pay with? I mean, aren't they creating their own little monopoly of, well, I can only buy, you know, but that, you only have that, a, a right to pay with cash. Well, yeah, but, <laughs> you know, I, I have. Yeah. So, you know, so if, I, if I, can, I told you a story can, last summer of the of the places in the beach area, not, you know, they're charging extra for to use Amex, right? That's what I think I said, because, well, and, because they're making, because they're making and, hmm? and, and to back up, Chuck, I, I have not heard of any legislation anywhere that would force Apple to allow other payment systems onto their devices. No. Uh, I think, you know, this is just something that, you know people think might happen. And I'm sure Apple is, you know, prudently thinking about and and by removing, you know, letting people move the wallet app is like an absolutely no cost. There's no downside to Apple for doing that. 
allow, allowing it. So what? If somebody wants to remove the wallet app, knock yourself out, you know? I mean, lots of people don't use the wallet app anyway or even know it's there. Um, like I said, well, if it's not in, up, so no. you know, if and how, not how many people are going to actually, yeah, yeah, who's who's going to delete it? You know, who's going to be like, oh, I must get rid of this wallet app. Most people right. just don't even know it's there. You know, you'd have to know it's there to go to the trouble of of deleting it. I, you know, 80, 80% I, I think will be accidentally. I'm sure. No, that's what. That's why I say this. That's that's why I say this is a PR stunt. Yeah. Um, so here's one, uh, and and he's right because now the more I think about it, I can think of a couple other examples. Cletus says he's seen gas stations in New Jersey and New York that will not accept cash payments. Yep, and but I've seen gas no. stations that don't accept um, like Apple Pay yet. You know, yeah, well, but that's 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 a whole other discussion, Warren. You know, if, because listen, a lot of the, some of the airlines will not accept cash payments on flights now. Right. I, think I, I, I don't so, I don't understand uh, that because I thought that cash was legally, you know, legal tender and had to be usable to discharge debts. So Giant Stadium, the Meadowlands is cashless. And this is a new thing this year. That so is Major League I, Baseball team. The, they are yeah. cash. You cannot pay. So, you cannot pay without. They have they have stations uh, where you could take a money and convert it into like a digital thing and, and pay that way. And maybe that's how to get around it. I, yeah, I wonder how that's legal because... I thought that was the whole point. Cash is legal tender, and well, uh, if know, they're saying it's the same thing where you can't walk up to a skee ball machine. Well, no, that's it's not it. Example. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a, a place where you could only pay for something without actual money. But, I mean, yeah, sports venues are they've done uh, ticketless entry too. You can't. People who heard old school who want to have a paper ticket, you can't have it anymore. It's all in their digital app. Right. I mean, same thing with the, with, the, with the no, no well, cash. But, but, and, and so. but that, well, it's not the same thing, though, because cash has a special, you know, it's legal tender. It has a special um, slot. Um, that's not the right word that I'm looking for. Oh, no, I understand. Yeah. I just don't. I mean, they, they obviously get away with it. Yeah. I don't know. And it's a nightmare, by the way. It takes, it takes three times as long. So, to get into Giant Stadium to the Meadowlands, you, it's NFC. Now they don't take right. any paper tickets. All on your phone, and they, it's all on your phone. And when I tell you, it takes them about three or four tries, almost each person to get the tap to work. I'm not kidding. Oh, and so they're they're not they using got, like a, a terminal issue. The QVs. It's not a, a, it's not a, a code. No, it's not a barcode. Wow. It's, kind of code. it's an actual NFC tap to. I mean, they just kind of like need to point them at each other and. Yeah. It's somebody's got to be on the bleeding edge. Well, I'm sure other I think NFL somebody's on a chopping block after it takes us three three extra hours to get into the stadium. But yeah, it's fun. I'm sure okay. There, okay. there's other NFL stadiums that do the same. Yeah. I have a solution. Don't go to Giants game. Well, that would have been good last <laughs> night. Luckily, I did not. But I went the first two games. So there you go. Okay, so so in the chat room, we had um, somebody that was um, unwelcome posting a link to a, a best adult dating site. Nice. So they oh, they've been nice. they've been removed and reported. I missed it. Um, yeah, you, but um, so I thought you, but correct, the links wouldn't go through anyway. <laughs> you, it just says the link with no link. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Craig, but Craig um, asks if he he wants to know if he use the app use Apple Pay on the adult dating sites. So probably. You know, I, I don't know, Craig. Why don't you go and check it out and report back to us? How's that? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll put it on After Dark, what you're finding. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe OnlyFans. Yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> don't start that, David. Don't start that. <laughs> hey, I want to throw one other thing here because we've this has been a really interesting discussion. Uh, and I love the fact that, you know, we can argue these things back and forth and feel passionately about it and still be friends, even if I'm right and they're wrong. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> but I'm I'm throwing one one other link into the chat. It's good to be um, king. It's good to be king. It's my show. Yeah, let me Cook just your own show. <laughs> let me just mute everybody else while I do this. He has the you, power you notice, to mute. I, yeah, you notice I haven't done that. I, I want credit for that. <laughs> um, hey, I threw I threw one one other th thing that I've been holding on to for a little while. This this is not that old, but Spotify has gotten into audiobooks with what they claim is a t uh, a library of over three hundred thousand titles. So they're taking on Apple Books. They're ta taking on, um, Audible. I guess, Amazon to some degree, or Audible, excuse me. Which is um, Amazon. It's Amazon. Which is Amazon, yeah. Um, 
so, you know, I just, I mean, I was really surprised, you know, now I did read a different article that said that first of all, Spotify will be, you'll be able to upload your existing audiobooks to your Spotify account. Um, yeah, it's is a way, is a, books. <laughs> yeah, I, that, that, that is very interesting, but also that Spotify has figured out a way apparently around the, um, the Apple charge because you will not be buying apps from Spotify. You'll be, excuse me, books from Spotify. You'll be actually directed to a separate web page where you will be able to buy the books that will then, I guess, be delivered into your Spotify account. And I guess that goes wow. around to Apple's rules of not doing that. Yeah. I, I, I but mean, Apple has definitely shut down people doing that sort of thing before. Yeah. So it'll be interesting. So this is something to watch. I mean, I, I think it, yeah. I can't decide if is I can't decide if Spotify is getting desperate or if they're just once again seeming to throw throw it at the wall to see what sticks. This edition of Mac Voices is supported by NordVPN. Get secure and private access to the internet with NordVPN. Do you feel like someone's always looking over your shoulder, that they are tracking you around the internet and then throwing ads at you for what you've already looked at, watching what you watch on the streaming services? You need NordVPN. NordVPN keeps your information encrypted, so you never have to worry about your IP or location getting out. Where you surf and what you look at is yours and yours alone. Or maybe you're concerned with who might be checking out your web traffic when you visit your local coffee shop or restaurant. Again, NordVPN helps you keep both safe and secure from prying cyber eyes. Using my link, nordvpn.com slash macvoices, can get you a great deal on a two-year plan plus four months free. That's 28 months of privacy and security for all your surfing and video binging, no matter where you are. And with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee, there's nothing to lose. If you like it, great. You can sleep a little more soundly. If not, they'll issue a refund, and you can pretend like it never happened. But somehow I doubt that. Check it out at nordvpn.com slash macvoices to get your subscription started today. That's nordvpn.com slash macvoices. Thanks to NordVPN for supporting this week's Mac Voices. Today's edition of Mac Voices is supported by Collide. Collide is a fleet visibility solution for Mac, Windows, and Linux that can help you securely scale your business. The challenge with endpoint security has always been that it's difficult to scale, and when remote work took over, that challenge got exponentially harder. You need visibility into your fleet of devices in order to meet security goals and reduce service desk tickets. But how do you get that visibility when different parts of your company run on Mac, Windows, and Linux? You get Collide. Collide is an endpoint security solution that gives IT teams a single dashboard for all devices, regardless of their operating system. Collide gives you real-time access to your fleet's data and can do things that traditional MDMs can't. And instead of installing intrusive agents or locking down devices, Collide takes a user-focused approach that communicates security recommendations to your employees directly on Slack. You can answer every question you have about your fleet without intruding on your workforce. Visit collide.com slash macvoices to find out how. If you follow that link, they'll hook you up with a goodie bag just for activating a free trial. That's collide, K-O-L-I-D-E dot com slash macvoices. Again, collide.com slash macvoices. Thanks to Collide for their support of Mac Voices. Yeah, uh, just, you know, just like what they did with podcasting. They bought, they're buying, yeah, you know, they bought all these other podcasting companies, and and you know, now they got their paid, you know, podcasters. So, I mean, the so same still got know, their Joe Rogan, right? Huh? Joe Rogan, yeah. I mean, they got they're doing that. So now here's another here's another way of uh, uh, trying to 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 get activity with with uh, audiobooks. I just don't see it being that of a, a popular thing that it's going to really generate that much interest. I mean, at least in my opinion, I, I just find it hard to believe. Well, the, I don't Dave, see, the, Oh, sorry, Jim, go ahead. I just, I don't see anything about what the pricing is going to be. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the one other thing I, I just, yeah. in fact, I just saw this in an article today that um, apparently instead of doing the audible thing with the subscription, which was, you know, you can still technically buy, you know, one book from Audible. It's just that the price right. is really, really high. But if you, if you, uh, allegedly with the Spotify system, you'll be able to buy the book at a a regular price. You won't be required to have a subscription. 
Um, and so, you know, okay, that's, you know, that's fine. I have no idea what kind of DRM is going to be on these audiobooks, if any. Yeah. Um, so it'll be something, it'll be uh, something to watch. The only thing I hear about Spotify is, I'm, I don't know if it's true or not, but they claim that they don't pay their talent well. Right, they don't. So I don't know if that's a, you know, if that's true. Well, they, I mean, they must have done deals with publishers. I don't know. And I don't see any mention about... I guess this God. is for mu- music at the at the point musicians, right? No, but, but I, then you hear I, the but then you hear the story of Joe Rogan making a billion dollars from them. So I mean, who knows? I guess it depends on what you're doing and what they're doing. Yeah, I I, I just I thought it was really interesting that they tried it with podcasting, they're trying it with music, now they're going to try it with books. So they're trying to become a one stop solution for a lot of this stuff, and and that's you know, if if I take one attitude, that's great. They're doing their best. Another attitude, it's like, are they getting a little desperate? Or are, are they desperate? Even though the last, the last thing I think I've seen is that, or I saw, excuse me, that um, that the number of subscribers to Spotify is greater than Apple, or at least it has been. They've been, I know Apple's been gaining. I don't, I don't know if they've made it, uh, if they've crossed over or not. We, we never know if that's paying subscribers or not, and that's that's a big question, right? So does you know Spotify have more paying subscribers than Apple Music or or just users? Because probably most you know at least half is going to be free Spotify. I'm guessing, uh, yeah. if not more. To to confirm how uh, I just looked at the FAQs for Spotify, you can only they only can be purchased in their Spotify web player, so you can't even do it from the app. Um, hmm. So that hmm. there's 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 their way around uh, not uh, Apple's. But again, Apple has not allowed that. I well, have, yeah, I guess Kindle has done that for a long time. Um, and I'm I'm looking at the new Scott Turo book, which is interesting. I guess that's out. I'll have to look into the non audio book of that. I thought they I had to buy it. I, I can buy it for twenty two dollars. I, I thought they couldn't do that anymore. I thought they were allowing. Wasn't that another lawsuit? They were allowing companies to use their own payment method. Not payment system. I think I, I think they just you know actually I guess you know that this has been allowed because that's what Kindle has done all along. You have to go to the web page to buy. You know, in fact, that annoys me all the time. It's like oh, I want to buy a Kindle book. I have to go into the web browser. I can't do it from right, but that's the Amazon app. Trying to stop. I thought that was a whole lawsuit mm-hmm. where that's Apple's agreed to let companies use their own in app payment service rather than you still can't buy kindle books in the kindle app on your phone or ipad i I think it's a slow process i don't think it's you know was a i don't think the lawsuit the lawsuit ended but i don't think it was like the next day everybody was doing it i think netflix is one of them now i think you could go and subscribe to netflix within the app without paying the apple tax and i think that's what they did yeah it's and it's a thin line to to be able to say um okay i want to buy this book from spotify and so i click the link that says buy this book from spotify and i'm taken to a completely different website where you know now i i put in my credit card and you know i don't have access <clears throat> pardon me to the to the apple the apple payment ecosystem uh, but more importantly you know i don't have access to anything i'm now i'm now on a website as opposed to being on in an app yeah and and so you know it's it's a sneak away around it but it's also a whole lot less convenient i mean you know with it with if you if you buy an audiobook from apple it's just like buying music it's just like buying anything else i want this click yes do you want to click confirm boom you're done you know so there it takes all the friction out of it if that if friction doesn't bother you then great you know but if it does or if you find it annoying then you know you you're going to be bummed out by this I just put the, a link to a Blooming, Bloom, Bloomberg about pricing. They're saying the pricing is about the middle of the pack uh, for uh, Spotify versus others like Amazon, Libri, Libro, and Apple Books, uh, depending on the title, I guess. Uh, this article actually shows like a book called Becoming. They're selling it for twenty three ninety nine, and then Apple is selling it for seventeen. So the pricing yeah. is just all, it's all over the place. And if you do things, uh, there's a, ser- a service called Chirp. That right. you can buy audiobooks from, and they run, you know, daily specials where you can. Sometimes they're not they're not very popular books. Sometimes they're pretty good books, where you can buy from two ninety nine to four ninety nine. 
you know, that, that under, normal prices are up in the twenty twenty dollar range, and they do they do specials. So yeah, you know. So we'll um, in the chat room, Cletus said, "Very happy with Apple Books and Amazon." Brian says, I like the idea of competition to keep prices in check with all the audiobook companies. However, my only issue is that Spotify loves exclusivity deals. That is true. Absolutely right, Brian. Um, and then Cletus says, co competition to a certain point is great. And Brian agrees. So, you know, it's just, it's a world where everybody's trying to carve out, carve out their niche and, and, you know, I, I don't have a problem with that, but, you know, I do get a little bit upset when people start shamelessly borrowing or stealing things, you know, differentiate yourself in some way that makes you, you know, better or at least different. Yeah. So that's, that's my two cents. I, you know, I'm a little puzzled, Chuck. I mean, if a new store opens up, do you, you're like, oh, they must be desperate. They're opening a new store. I mean, that's what they do. <laughs> You mean, are you talking about Spotify? No, just in general. Well, just... any, you know, any kind of business. I mean, you know, so Spotify is trying to expand their business. So good for them. You know, maybe oh, yeah. it'll work. Maybe it won't. Um, seems like a no brainer, actually, to me. Yeah. No, I mean, Jim, look, I, I your, your store analogy is an interesting one because, you know, I look at if two pizza shops open up side by side, well, Okay, so I'm going to judge which one's better, but I would hope that what you know they have some way of differentiating themselves and just uh, instead of just saying, "Hey, you know, we sell pizza," but they don't. I mean, I I don't know about your town, but <laughs> that's. <laughs> I mean, maybe I have some, seen, yeah. I have seen two pizza shops open up side by side oh, all the time. <laughs> yeah, well, and, and without you know, it's hard to differentiate. Them. I mean, there's oh. You know, it's like it's, McDonald's or Burger King. They they open across the street from each other. You know, yeah, yeah sure, yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. But they both have I mean, different. You know, they have the same basic things, but they also throw you know some yeah. other little interesting twists in. Right. So. Basically, sure. there's been two players in this space: Audible and Apple. Apple, of course, is only for Apple devices, so that's you know that leaves a lot of customers out. Uh, Audible has the, the subscription model. So Spotify is well, providing a space where you can, you know, just buy things when you want and not be on a, you know, treadmill of you got to pick something, you know, every every month, which I'm an Audible customer and that's kind of annoying to me. Now I've got like 12 credits sitting there like, oh, well, you know, I've already got like, 15 books I haven't listened to. So what do I want to pile up more of them? Yeah. Well, it's part of the su subscription game. Yep. Yeah. But, um, you know, on the other hand, uh, I, you know, there's a new Scott Turo book to, out today, turns out, and uh, which I discovered from Spotify site. Spotify is charging 22 bucks. Um, yeah. Well, I'm, I just bought it on Kindle. I'd rather read it. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and which was 15 bucks and on audible it's basically 15 bucks it's one credit yeah. so you know if you know if i was starting from scratch i might be very interested in the spotify model of you know just buying something when i want to and not having to you know say well you got to buy something every every month well jim if you do let us know you know, but it's, I mean, because I'm, I'm, interested well, I'm, in I'm, I'm already like, you know, I, <laughs> I got all the audio books I want. So, you know, and I, and I yeah. do have like 12 credits, I think. So, you know, I, I'm not going to start buying things and not using those credits, but, um, yeah. well, Hey, I'll throw it out to the, I'll throw it out to the audience then. I mean, if, if any of you buy Spotify books, let us know, let us know if you're restricted in any way from using them, whether they, have to be played only in the Spotify player, whether you can download them and use them elsewhere, whether they have DRM on them. You know, I, I'm definitely interested in, you know, how Spotify is doing this. And it's, it's so new that there's not a lot of information out there about that. Um, to wrap this up, Brian says two places that sell the same for, I think it's, I, he says for Curb fans, but I think that may be a typo. So I'm Kirby, gonna No, assume. Kirby Enthusiasm, Larry David. 
Oh, okay. Sorry, didn't know that. Mocha Joe's and Latte Larry's. Yeah, that, if you you had to watch the show, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, okay. See, there you go. I'm completely clueless. That was. Let's fun. get out of here, um, guys. Thank you very much for you know for for some good some heated discussions. I like this. I like this. Yeah. And thank you, chat room, for all your commentary as well. Um, really appreciate you backing us up and keeping us honest. Oh yeah, Dave. Yeah, Dave, you're getting credit for uh, knowing what you're what you're talking about. Good job. Yeah, it, was a, it was a great episode. <laughs> yeah. that, was, that was the best. That show. was a good episode. Uh, that episode too. Yeah. But it, was, right, the, so what, it, it was the 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 croissant. It was too dry. It was the the two. He he opens up the, the coffee shop. But let, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, like, let's get out of here. We can talk. You guys can talk after dark. Um, so let's go around the room, find out where folks can find you guys, um, and then we'll go. Um, so the screen has got completely jumbled. Um, so Jim Ray, you're up first. What's the best place for folks to find you? Uh, you can find me on the web at proview.com, P-R-O-V-U-E, and on the Twitter at Proview Jim. Same weird spelling. Great. Thank you, Jim. Thanks for being here. David Ginsburg, what's the best place for folks to find you, as if I didn't know? Yeah. You could, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, you can find me at InTouch with iOS at InTouchWithOS.com. YouTube channels, youtube.com slash in touch with iOS. I'm on the Mac show on the British Tech Network on Fridays. Um, and uh, I am at Twitter at Dave G65. Thank you. Great. Thank you, David. Last but absolutely not least, um, Mr. Warren Sklar. Warren, where can <laughs> folks find you? I'll be uh, at that site that somebody posted in your chat. Um, we can meet at the adult site. Um, other than that, uh, <laughs> Other than that, I'll, I'm uh, in touch with iOS uh, Thursdays, uh, Facebook group, Back to the Future, uh, and in the, the basement of love. Thanks for having me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop right there. Did you say the basement of love? Is that what you said? <laughs> That's what you did. You got to see this place. Man. It's got, uh, oh, no, oh I don't. No, I don't no. want to see it. It's got LED. It's crazy, man. I'm, Nobody should I'm, have this much fun. Go ahead. I'm, it's it's not going to be sufficient to mute Warren. I'm going to have to eject him. Uh, eject. So, so we don't see the basement of love. Oh, my God. Uh, On yeah. that note. Yeah, please get us get out of here. Folks, I'm Chuck Joyer. This is Mac Voices Live. We do this craziness Tuesdays, every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, whatever time that is, wherever you are, at youtube.com slash TV. We'd love to have you join us because you just never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Until the next time, as always, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, Consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.